You've seen him block shots. He gets denied by Williams. And drain threes. Rachel Panna! But today, we test their trivia skills with our defending champion, Elizabeth Williams. And challenger, Rachel Bannum. Wow. I'm your host, Pia Nurse. And this is STEM Pop Quiz, presented by Microsoft Copilot. All right, let's dive right in. Elizabeth, Rachel, are you ready? Yes. Okay, good, because we have no other choice. So, question number one. Which planet in our solar system is closest to the sun? Oh, of course you know. I'm pretty sure there's an acronym for this. Rachel, are you confident? No. All right, <laughs> let's do it. We may flip our answers. Wow, Elizabeth, Mercury is correct. Of course you got yeah. it. Mars. No, how did you know that? Mercury is hot. Okay. Fire. Oh, I should have thought about that with like Phoenix. Yeah, you should, yeah. yeah. Mm, okay, well, we'll move on to question number two. Rachel, here's your chance. What are the two elements that make up water? You got this, right? Okay, yeah, it. yeah. This is, this is high school science. This. Wait, now I'm like overthinking. No, it. you got it. Just trust yourself. All right, flip it around. Hydrogen and ding, oxygen. Ding, 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 yes! yes! <laughs> one <laughs> point each. So to end episode one, we have Elizabeth with two points, Lock Rachel in. with one. Okay, not bad. That's right. not bad. We're good. We're good. Right there. All right, everyone, welcome back to STEM Pop Quiz presented by Microsoft Copilot. We are back with Rachel and Elizabeth. Elizabeth is up two to one right now. She is our reigning champion, so that is expected from episode one. But Rachel still has time, and here we are in episode two, <laughs> going for some more points. All right. Question number one. One gigabyte is equal to how many megabytes? What in the world? Giga uh, gigabyte? We, uh, megabyte? She's thinking. Yeah. All right. Let's flip our... We got the same answer. 1,000 and the right? answer is 1,000! Yes! Correct! I totally guess. That was a good guess. I mean... Not a bad guess at all. All right, here we head on to episode number two. Question number two, on your computer keyboard, what does, oh, no. quotation marks, FN, quotation marks, end, stand for? That's a great question, I have no <laughs> idea. I've always actually wondered that. What, why button. do we, do we even use that button? I have it right here, and it looks pressable. Oh, wow, <laughs> yeah, wow, I don't even want to. <laughs> Please flip your screen. <laughs> Function forward notes. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I not put function? Are we forwarding? Oh my like, like god! You're not know, like forwarding it. I don't know. I panicked. Okay, so don't panic. That was but F N. I just that was so dumb. It's okay. No, it's not dumb. Don't function say that about is yourself. Genius. Thank you. Yeah. So to end up episode two, we were sitting with Elizabeth at four points and Rachel at two. We have more, so stay tuned. Welcome back, everybody. We are still here at the STEM Pop Quiz presented by Microsoft Copilot. Right now, our reigning champion, E, has four points. Rachel has two. But we're going to do a little check-in right now. See where our mental state is with this game. E, are you feeling confident headed into episode three? Feeling pretty good, I'm not going to lie. But I, I think Rachel can make a comeback. Thank you. I agree. E has very much answered questions within five seconds of asking <laughs> them. So it is uh, a little bit daunting. Rachel, how are you feeling? <laughs> It's going okay. <laughs> I'm doing my best. <laughs> and that's all we can ask for in this world, right? All right, let's head into this question <laughs> for episode three. Question number one. Where is the tallest building in the world located? Please oh. be right. All right, we can flip our screens. Let's see what we got. Dubai, Dubai, correct! Yes! Uh, <laughs> Rachel's back on the board again. E is up now, five to three. And we're gonna head into question number two. What California structure that opened in 1937 has an official color of international orange? But what, what but structure? Is it orange? It's a structure, yes. But it's not a, okay. I'm just gonna guess. What does that even mean? I'm not sure, we're in a library. I'm sure there was a book here that would have stated. Yeah, but. I'm gonna have to find this book. <laughs> I don't even know what to write. <laughs> it's in California. This California book. structure. structure. I'm not Could much of a Cali thing. girl. A <laughs> like, is it a bridge, perhaps? Perhaps. <laughs> All right, let's flip it and let's see what we've got. That's what I meant! What'd you write? San Francisco let's... Bridge. That's I the mean, same thing. 
<laughs> is it? <laughs> yes, that's what I meant. I just couldn't think of the title for real. I am the host, but I am not the judge. Uh, Golden Gate is the same. It's in the same place. That's where. Yeah, we can do. We can do a half point for that one. Um, Golden Gate Bridge is correct. We here are not sure what International Orange is, but if you enter it into Microsoft Copilot, we'll be able to find out. And we're back with the STEM pop quiz presented by Microsoft Copilot. We are headed into the fourth episode now. This is do or die time, all right? Elizabeth is up currently six to Rachel's three and a half points, which she was able to gain in the last episode. We're headed into math and geometry. How are we feeling about that? I like math. I was a sociology major, so <laughs> that says it all. Put it out there. All right, well, we'll get right into it then. The first question here is, though it's often called the three-point line, it's also referred to as this three-letter geometric path. Come oh. on, Rachel, you live at the three-point line. Yeah, I got it. Easy money. Both are yeah. correct, and that is the fastest Rachel's answer to question <laughs> yep. in all four episodes. Yay. The confidence I know that's level. Right. Confidence level's rising here, headed up into episode four. Now our four, uh, our final question here. What is the sum of the year that the Sky won the WNBA championship, and each of your jersey numbers? <laughs> the sum is in correct. the total. Correct. Yeah. No. Don't look at mine. I'm not looking. Equals. You carry that. <laughs> Don't cheat. Oh, I think I'm right. Do you want to know which one of you is right? Because one of you is right and one of you is wrong. She's right. What? <laughs> no, they you won, didn't even They won it. in 2021. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> Our winner, the reigning champion, the one and only Elizabeth Williams. Thank you. Thank you. I was trying to draw a crown, but that Show didn't work. It. Oh. No. Here, this is what I got. Our queen. <laughs> Oscar Mayer, <laughs> wiener! <laughs> uh, all right, I hope you enjoyed this year's episodes of the STEM Pop Quiz. Thank you to our friends at Microsoft, and it was a great time. If you want to see more information about this stuff, you gotta like, comment, subscribe, engagement, get on it if you want another season, you hear me? But until then, we're gonna see you on the court. <laughs>